Temperature overshooting, while rare, can cause your Mitsubishi Electric indoor unit to miss the set point. In this video, we identify three common causes of overshooting and ways to resolve each. Cause number one, air infiltration. If a wall-mounted indoor unit is experiencing abnormal overshooting, it is usually because the indoor unit is mixing some of the room air temperature along with some infiltrated air to determine the unit's room temperature. If the wall-mounted indoor unit is installed on an exterior wall, there could be some outside air infiltration due to poor sealing around the line set penetration. In some cases, the indoor unit may be installed on an inside wall. In this situation, some unconditioned attic air may also infiltrate into the back of the unit and cause a misrepresentation of the actual room temperature. In any of these situations, a seal or reseal of the line set penetration would fix the issue. Cause number two, temperature sensing location. From the factory, our equipment is programmed to sense temperature using a thermistor that comes encased in the indoor unit. A thermistor is a specialized resistor that changes resistance based on its surrounding temperatures. The location of the room temperature thermistor is installed inside of the indoor unit where the equipment can read the most accurate temperature of the return air being pulled in from the fan. In rare cases, the location where the unit is installed may not be the most ideal location to sense the room's temperature. In these particular situations, a solution would be to change your sensing location. We have remote sensor accessories that take the place of the current thermistor and are connected to the indoor units. Or you can install a wired controller or thermostat or a wireless thermostat which can be programmed to be used as the sensing location. Cause number three cross-wiring on a multi-zone system. If you have a Mitsubishi Electric multi-zone system and one room is always overcooling while another room is never cool enough, that could be an indication of cross-wiring. Our multi-zone systems have electrical wires that run from each indoor unit to either the outdoor unit or a branch box. These wires not only power up the indoor unit, they also communicate with the equipment. Each zone is designated a separate terminal block. This terminal block correlates to an electronic metering device that controls the refrigerant flow to its assigned unit. If you had two zones that were cross-wired, the system would send refrigerant to the wrong indoor unit. If the fan for that indoor unit was still running, then all that cold air constantly blown into the space would be overcooling the wrong zone. Simply finding the two crossed units would resolve this cross-wiring issue and thus eliminate the temperature overshooting problem. In conclusion, if you run into a temperature overshoot scenario, the three causes we have covered in this video would be the first things to look into. For additional information, please feel free to visit our website at www.mylinkdrive.com. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future episodes of Tech Tips.